Okay, here we go. We're going to try and start a live video of uh, a painting I'm going to do. And I was just out walking in the park today, Lake Erie Metro Park. Um, you know, the moon was out to the east and Venus was out to the west. And there I was in the middle and sun was going down and uh, I was looking at it. And I thought to myself, you know, this would make a nice painting. But uh, most of the time you see a painting like that, everybody paints the sky like red and yellow and you know very very vibrant and uh um and then they paint the trees like in black and when i was looking at that i didn't see that uh, artist's eye i don't see black the other thing is i never use black on my palette black you will not find in nature necessarily if you go walking through the park through the metro park you will not find black so i don't i do not use black I've got a whole bunch of stuff on my palette over here today. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to try and get started and see what happens. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, get a little bit of white. And I'm going to take and put white. Oh, by the way, I use a gray canvas. I always use a colored canvas because if I want to do white, I can do white here. I can do dark here. I can go back and forth with white and black. Uh, the gray is kind of a, a middle ground, and I don't have to, uh, uh, more or less when I do this, I'm going back to white, okay? Hard to understand? Maybe. Okay, so I'm going to put some white in there. And I'm going to scrub that in. I'm just going to scrub it in real quick. And this is kind of a sketch. This isn't a finished painting. It's a sketch painting. Yeah, maybe I could sell it as a finished painting. I don't know. Now I'm going to put some yellow down here. Because I saw yellow as the sun was rising, right? Look at that. Some yellow. Sure. Okay. Maybe a little bit of orange. A little teeny bit of red. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to kind of work it in. Alright, so it's getting a nice sky color. Real nice sky color. A little bit more red over here. Yeah. Oh, is that cool or what? Does that make a nice sky? Yeah, well, we can kind of blend it out a little bit. Alright, up in the corner over there. I mean, what would happen if I came in there with a little bit of a. Uh, Oh, green and yellow, huh? A little bit of green, sure. Is the sky green? Hey, go out there and look. It is. It'll be a little bit green. Sometimes it'll be a little bit all kinds of different colors. But see how nice it mixes with when I use that white as an undertone, as an underpainting. Okay, is that cool? Oh, I don't know. I think it is. And now I can wipe off. Now I'm going to clean my brush. Probably going to use the same brush through the whole thing. I got probably 100 brushes over here. When I do this kind of stuff, I'll use like one brush. And let's, let's come in here. And let's make a sun. Uh, the sun doesn't have to be, you know, that sun today. It was there, but that's what it looked like. Not bright, okay? I mean, you go on Facebook or Pinterest or whatever, and they're going to show you a bright white sun. Bullshit. I don't know if you can even see this on there. Wow, I got a lot of people watching. That's cool. Okay, so I'm going to put that sun in there. Now, as I was walking and looking, there were some trees along here, okay? Obviously some trees, because I was in the woods. And, uh, like I said, a lot of these paintings you see on Pinterest or Facebook or whatever, whatever you go to look and see, how, how can I paint, a, uh, how can I make a painting? And they're going to paint it with black, black trees, black trees. Yeah, 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 right, right. Uh, as I said... Black doesn't work. 
So what I'm going to do is I have some dioxamine purple. You like that name? Where's that tube of paint? Well, it's over here somewhere. I don't know. It's in my box of paint stuff. I got more junk over there than we know what to do with. So I'm going to mix that with a little bit of white. And I'm going to add a little bit of burnt umber to it. Okay. So here's what I'm getting. I'm getting this kind of a... And uh, you know what? Let's see if I can find some... Uh, uh, Yeah, I look for some Payne's Gray, but there it is. Dioxazine purple. Look at that. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Dot. Yep. Shit tip somewhere. Dioxazine purple. Backwards. It's a good color. So what I'm going to do is, the trees that were in the background, now I was walking through uh, Lake Erie Metro Park, so I was looking through the trees, and this is probably the other side of Jefferson. Because I'm walking the trail along Jefferson, so I'm going to put some trees in there. Okay? Not black. No, 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 not black. But I'm going to use purple, maybe I'll add a little bit of blue. Oh man, I wish I could find that gray real quick. Payne's Gray. See, I got it at uh, Hobby Lobby for a buck, man. They had you, you always check out their uh, 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 Hobby Lobby's uh, clearance rack. They got all kinds of good stuff over here. So Payne's Gray. It's a lot better than black. So I'm going to add a little bit of that, and I'm going to come in here and continue to put. All right. I hope you can see that that it's almost another layer of color going in there. Well, we're going to put that in there. Whoa! What, what would happen if, it, if if there were a tree back there? I'm a what if painter. What if we did this? What if we did this? What if we put a little tree back in there like that over the over the sun? Ah, oh, that's cool, right? Sure it is. Bob Hosko thinks so. <laughs> That's my cousin in, uh, in uh, um, I can't think, um, New Mexico. All right, so there's the background. Now, when I was walking through this area, I noticed that there was almost a foggy area here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix some uh, white with the color I just used and I'm going to add some uh, phallocyanine blue for those of you that aren't artists it's just a cool color to say right phallocyanine it's pronounced spelled with a p ph and let's put some a little bit of fog in there Right? Just a little bit of fog. Well, I, I didn't clean my brush either. Let's make that clear. I did not clean my brush. Okay? So my brush has not been cleaned. I'm a sloppy painter. I'll admit it. What do you think, Bob? Bob Nemo, he's watching this. I know he's watching this. And he's a painting instructor and he might, uh, you know, not agree with not cleaning your brush, but or my cousin Bob might not agree with it. Oh, let's put a little more phallocyanine blue in there. Just a little more white, a little more purple, a little more brown, gray. Just a whole lot of color. All right, we're going to come back down over here. Oh, 
Okay, now what's happening is, you see I'm making layers. I'm making layers. This is way back. This is kind of foggy. Now we're getting kind of closer, right? Put a little blue in there. Why? Psh, I don't know, because it's cool. <laughs> what the heck, man? A little blue never looked bad, see? So I'm mixing a lot of colors in there, okay? And now I'm going to come with some, uh, maybe I will clean my brush a little bit in my super duper cleaner. And I'm going to get some yellow ochre and some white and some uh, raw umber. And I'm going to come in over here. Because when I was over there, it was dark. Yeah, it was dark. But I could see some uh, light color in there. All right. Now I'm in here. Okay, so we got some white collar down in there. And this is coming close to me, okay? And I'm just going to scrub that in there. And again, it's my brush. You'll notice my brush is, where's my brush? Dip, 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 dip. It's not clean. And it's different colors on the brush. But that's what's making this work, okay? And I might even add a little bit of dark color to it, palette it out a little bit, and uh, I'm going to leave that little spot right there. Uh, there's all kinds of words over there. Little spot right there. I'm going to leave that little spot right there. Okay, just because, just because. Why? Who cares? All right? And this is like, a, like I said, this is all like, what if? What if I did it like this? What if I did it like that? All right, now closer to me here, I'm going to make it a little bit darker. I'm going to get some Payne's Gray. I'm maybe going to get some red uh, with a little bit of Payne's Gray, a little bit of brown. I might add some green. And some orange. Again, it's just, I'm just having fun with the colors. And I don't necessarily mix them on. You see how that orange is going on there? I don't necessarily mix a color. But see, I've got a bunch of different colors going on over here. And if I, if I do that color with a little bit of a, a little bit of brown, I'm going to put some orange in there. How about some green? Oh, green. Hey, we got green up here, right? See that green? We're going to put some green down here. Let's put some green down here. Why did I do that? This green is picking up this green and it's complementing the two greens. What do you think about that? Is that a goofy idea? Ah, yeah, buddy. But it works, doesn't it? Okay. So, let me see. Is there too much glare on this? If I turn this that way a little bit, maybe you can see it a little bit better, I hope. There you go. There you go. That's a whole lot better. Okay, you can see a little bit of green up here. I'm, I'm picking that green up over here, right? Okay. All right. So, yeah, Judy, I know there's a glare. I, I, I just turned it. I hope that made a difference. I just realized that. Is that cool? 
Come on, guys, tell me it's cool. Okay, anyways, but you can see that the green here is picking up the green here, green here, and green here. And the other thing is, I'm not making this so bright and nasty, okay? The background is a kind of a purple. Why purple? Because purple pushes back, right? Okay. And I got this little kind of foggy area over here, all right? And this nonsense going on over here. Now, I can switch brushes. And by the way, I've used the same brush throughout the whole thing. Okay. Uh, okay, Judy says much better. Josephine says much better. Okay, you guys can see what's going on here now, right? It's on an angle. I didn't want to do it on an angle, but that's cool. We're all right. I'm doing it here in the basement in my uh, makeshift studio. All right. Okay, so now I can go in here and suppose I want to put some trees in. Well, I'm not going to put... Uh, so I, let me find a good brush to put some trees in with. Bear with me for a minute, okay? Like I said, I got about a million brushes over here. All right, let's get a new one. All right. I'm going to get a liner brush. See how that has long hair on it? Like me? Long hair? Francis, I should get it cut. Where are you going to get it cut? There's no barbershops open. Cut it myself, right? Look ridiculous. Alright, so I'm going to get a liner brush. And I use a liner brush because if I use a short brush like uh, this. Come over here. Come over here. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? A short brush and a long brush. See how much more paint this is going to hold? You know? I mean, this is going to hold a, a, like a ton more paint, okay? So I'm going to come in here and I'm not going to use black. Remember I said black? I don't use black because black, there's just no black in nature. I want to come over and get some thinner on my brush. And I'm not going to get a real dark color. And maybe I want to put a tree in. And this time of year, I didn't see a whole lot of foliage on the trees. Okay? I mean, this is what I saw today. It really is, pretty much. You know, maybe a little more vibrant. But I was out there, and the sun was setting. And this is what I saw. And like I said, I just thought of the paintings that I see on... Uh, YouTube and Pinterest and, you know, paint this, paint that. And it's like a bright sun, orange, red, yellow, and black. And I'm looking and I didn't see any black. Like I said, I saw the sun with these subtle colors. A little bit of green up in the sky. A little bit of green down here. Carries through, right? That's your painting lesson for today. Uh... The other thing is, back here, everything wasn't all black and nasty. It was kind of hazy purple, you know. I could even go back in here now and put some... Well, I mean, I could put some little tree things back in there, right? Over the sun. Oh, is that cool? Sure. And, uh, you know, these are kind of purplish. They're not real... real dark, okay? Huh? What do you think? Those are way back, right? Am I right? 
No, Larry, I'm not a racist. I just don't use black. <laughs> I never use, I very rarely use black, only if I'm drawn with ink or stuff like that, or something that is black. Like I did a, a drawing uh, the other day of a, of a tugboat, and the tugboat was black, and I did black. But in nature, if you go out in nature realistically, and if you sit there and totally analyze the colors you're looking at, you will not find black, okay? So I know you're teasing, but other people may, you know, you know, why don't you use black? Because black is cool. Well, no, you know, black is cool in its place, all right? But do you see what I'm saying here, Larry? If I do this, now if I did that in black, it would be too harsh, right? Yeah, monkey, come on, Karen, come on. Okay, so now we'll go and I'm just gonna make some other color that's uh, not quite so dark and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna make another tree down here. Now this tree is gonna work in front of this And it's going to end right there, all right? So we're going to gradually, and maybe it's maybe it's got a branch that comes out here. I don't know. Like I said, I I had a good time just kind of looking at the stuff this morning, this this evening, and uh, started thinking that you know. Maybe I'll do a painting like this. And I am thinning this paint down with turpentine. See how it pushes that tree back? Okay. Add a monkey. Come on. Add a monkey. What if I came over here? Kristen Brock said, add a monkey. What if I came over here? Let's go over here. How about an owl, Kristen? Is that cool? <laughs> do you forgive me? <laughs> you know, you can do all kinds of fun stuff like that, you know? All right, and then we'll get a little bit of darker color. We want some darker color, and we want to come in through, through here with some darker. Okay, we're going to lay some darker color on top of that. All right. And maybe one over here. And maybe over here, we're going to put some, uh-oh, weeds. What do you think about that, huh? Cool. 
Yeah, it's a hoot. You okay? We'll come over here and we'll put some more. brush just came apart. I just pulled my brush apart. Yep. Where's my video? Where's my camera? Oh, there, there, there it is. And I went to clean my brush and boom, it came apart. All right, but we won't let that bother us. What we're going to do is we're going to get a whole lot of white Okay. Here's the trick. We got a whole lot of white on one side of the brush, half the brush, a whole lot of brown on another side of the brush, right? Yeah, yeah, vanilla chocolate. I don't care which color. But you see what's going on here. I got white, I got brown, or brown, I got white. However you want to look at it. I can come over here and I can make just a I'm just taking and I'm twisting that brush with that color on it. I'm gonna get some more white only because, only because, okay? And we'll just go over that a little bit because Rocks, what do you think? Rocks. Cool. Hi, Martine. Okay, and then I'm going to come over there in the rocks, and I'm going to clean up my liner brush, and I'm going to get some... Yellow and green, maybe a little orange too. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Now we're just going to come over here. We'll, ma we'll make a few like that. And then I'm going to go get some dark. Just I don't like the way that turned out. A little bit of dark. Now, there might be a little bit of, you know, it's springtime, so a little bit of buds over here, okay? So we can put a little bit of... Oh, I'm going to put a little bit of buds on those trees. 
because it's springtime and they're coming out. What I've got is a little bit of green, a little bit of brown on this brush. All right. All right. So there it is. That was what a uh, thirty-minute painting. Um, what do you guys think? Yeah, Will Wadsworth, twin color technique. <laughs> Boy, that's an old one. Uh, it, it's really cool, though. It's really cool to put two colors on your brush. You can do it making flowers, too. You can put, like, white and red, or white and alizarin and crimson, and, or white and blue, and make a, a, a flower petal just the same way. It's just a technique. It's just a happy technique. So I'm going to call this one... Well, maybe not done, but it's a sketch, okay? It's a watercolor or oil painting sketch. I prefer oil to acrylic. I, I do a lot in acrylic uh, when I teach uh, uh, classes like at uh, uh, Dundee and Ford, Ford Yacht Club and stuff like that. I use acrylic only because of the, uh, um, the, the uh, turpentine. They don't want me to use the turpentine. They don't want to use tox toxic uh, waste stuff. But uh, I prefer oil or watercolor. And those are my, my favorite media of paint. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, again, it was just a quick uh, uh, spur of the moment. I was walking in the park this evening and I said, you know, I'm going to paint this. And I think people might like it. And this is what I saw at about, let's going to say, 7.45 this evening. The sun wasn't, the sun sat at 8.03. So this is probably what I saw right around 7.45. Okay. And uh, again, I looked at it and I said, you know, if I went to Pinterest or, uh, one of those other things that you know painting tutorials and all that they're going to show you yellow red black sucks it sucks you know this is what it looked like to me so i hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed it let me know and um, uh, judy manning learned a lot i will do some more of these if you like just let me know and i will i enjoy teaching i enjoy showing you guys what to do all right. Okay, so let's all have a good evening and go watch uh, Dirty Movies on Netflix. Okay, thank you.